Jones. The drama of it all. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I, I must say, it's been a long time coming. Yeah. And I want to just tell you how proud I am of you. Because, because I, I, I don't think you get enough credit for being the first one to really cover our culture, you know, hip hop culture and, and also hip hop celebrities. And, and, and just understanding that it's news, not just saying that's all that you cover, but you started shedding light on our culture and our people, and thank you very much. Thank you, I accept that. Yeah. And with that in mind, <laughs> I know I pissed a lot of people off, including you, mm -hmm. but this is a full circle moment, yes, everybody. Yes. Get into adult yeah. conversation. Yeah, this yeah. Is full circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you smell delicious. <laughs> You're, you, the, you can't feel it through the TV, but he's got finery on, fin <laughs> like finery. And uh, you, <laughs> and you've got diamonds in your teeth, <laughs> which this is the thing, Lala was here the other day. Is that permanent? Hers aren't. Yeah, mine is. You're permanent? Yeah, yeah. How long you had that? Um, for like two and a half years. Yeah. I want to give you shoe cam. Put your feet on those feet. Okay. And while you're looking at his shoes, just check out his, the finery of, of what his entire suit is made out of. Yeah, there's a whole situation. Yeah. These, these are, um, these, these are St. Laurent's. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Well, as long, <laughs> as long as we're asking, and your suit? Um, um, Givenchy. Yeah. And you'll wear it once and you'll throw it away? No, 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 no. I, I, I like collecting pieces, so um, um, if I buy something, I feel like in three years it'll look better. As long as you keep your weight down, <laughs> right? True. Like, it is so good to see you, and I talk about this through the TV all the time. You know, like when Prodigy passed away, when we see fallen soldiers from our era, Yes. doesn't that make you shed tears and haunt you just a bit? Like, damn. Mm -hmm. So knowing that like LL's a, a daughter just got married, he's mm -hmm. still with Simone, you're still standing, you look terrific, you and I have come full circle, mm -hmm. I feel good here, we're going into our ninth mm -hmm. season. And, but there are a lot of people who are just dropping by the wayside. Mm -hmm. I, I think right now also, because of that, I think people are more health conscious. And right now, right, right now, health is definitely wealth. And, and, and I think people are into giving themselves self-love and taking care of themselves. Do? What, what do you do? You, I mean, I, to be honest, I just went through Ramadan and I, I fasted with um, a couple of friends of mine that are Muslim, so that's why I'm probably a little extra snatched right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, puppy. Oh, and right. but, 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 but you know, you know what I've been doing? I've been really just really caring about what, what I put inside of me and just caring about like what I'm doing to myself. And, I think, I think that, that that's, that's the page. That's really the new wave. Because I haven't seen you in over 15 years, but I'm not seeing wrinkles. I'm, not, I, oh, I'm seeing good. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Thank so, you. So, all right. Back to your lifestyle. Yes. Because I don't, you know, you live a really hectic lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't understand all the running around and who are these people that you surround yourself yes. with? And, and, and who are these people? Do they violate you? Do you get robbed? What happens? Now, you mm -hmm. threw a house party and I got the <laughs> footage. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Now, who has this many people at their house? Puff and, uh, or Sean, Diddy, Duty, what do I call you? <laughs> uh, like, I, I, you, I think you should call me Puff. You always call me Puff. I do. Yes. Okay. <laughs> First hurdle jumped. <laughs> Jesus.
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous to come out here. I was drinking some Ciroc in the back and I was, yeah. Why didn't you bring some yeah. out? <laughs> we could have got turned up and really had a conversation. Can we get two Ciroc's on the rocks, please? Thank you very much. But, <laughs> <laughs> but so you have all those people at your yeah. house. Mm -hmm. And we talk, we were just talking on Hot Topics about Alyssa Milano and her business manager stealing $10 million. Mm -hmm. And I saw the list, I know you're tight. We don't have to go into it, but mm -hmm. I'll brag on you in my mind. We talked about it, rich, <laughs> very wealthy. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been ripped off in such a bad way that you had to file for bankruptcy or anything? Cause I don't, no. I've talked about you a lot, but I don't recall financial talk. Yeah, no, um, my mother really wouldn't have that. My mother is, uh, that's my safety net. She stays on top of making sure that her vibration and what she feels and she tells me like, I'm not feeling this, I'm not feeling that. And she makes sure that I sit down. Um, okay, so <laughs> Puff Scott, six beautiful kids. And I am particularly <laughs> fond of your twins because I love a twin situation. And that one on the left <laughs> person, her lips like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but I, lo I love that you have, okay, six kids, three babies, moms. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and they all taken care of. I, you know, that's right. I know. I know. I, I, <laughs> Look, look, you, you know? No, 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 but I, but I, I want to tell you the story about that. I, I, I met all of them in the same year, so I've known huh? all of them the same amount of time, but they, we, we were friends. I, no, 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 listen. Li Whoa, why did I do that? Um, <laughs> did you meet all in the no, same No, no, I, I was just setting? trying to say it wasn't like I just was running around you know, um, through my career and just, you know, every couple of years just um, being with, 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 with a new person. Like, this, these are people that were my friends and then I would get my heart broken and then my friend would be there and I would fall in love with my friend and then I would get my heart broken again. So and, are you in love now? Yeah, I'm in love now. <laughs> and I, and, I, and I, wasn't, I was in love then, you know? Yeah. But you've been in love with Cassie for a while. Like you yes. guys, this is, I mean, I'm not saying that, that you're sloppy or anything like that. <laughs> but I know that outside of your baby's moms and taking care of your kids and your empire, mm -hmm. you do like to party, okay? Yes. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked that you and Cassie have gone this far. Mm -hmm. Like the distance. What is it about her that, you know? I mean, it's just like when a record comes on, the way she moves. Yeah. Like when I look at her, the way she smiles. Oh. Um, the way I see her look at me sometimes when I wake up and she's already awake, oh. you know? And the Met Gala, what the sitting on the steps was going on? What, 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 what is going on here? Now, I'm going to be honest, like, they didn't have my tickets right the year before, so I said I'm going to stun on them and sit on the stairs as my woman looks good and takes those pictures. Stay here, keep staying. <laughs> Up next, we're gonna talk more with Diddy, including his movie, and I wanna know about, where's G Depp? Okay. What's up with, what's up with uh, Loon? Okay. What's up with Craig Mack? Okay. Why wasn't Craig Mack on the tour? Okay. Next. Let's go. Puff strikes me as the kind of kid who was hanging out with you and still thinking about the future. I know I wanna be in the music industry. He was making music that was making the ground shake. Puff changed the whole thing. Hit records after hit after hit after Puff hit. Definition of Pat 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 believed in Trump. me Trump. more than I Trump. even believed in myself. Puffy had a vision. Vision. I, mean, I was like ready to die for this thing. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so that was a clip from Puffy's new movie, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Yeah, make sure y'all see it. It's available exclusively on Apple Music right now. So smart. Go check it out. Always making money, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> always, always making money. No, no, to, to, to be honest with this, it, was, it wasn't really about um, making money or putting it into theaters. I just felt like uh, uh, us as African-American men and women, we needed to have a story that had a happy ending. 
a success let, story. And, and let, you me know? let me tell you something. Um, as the mother of a now 16 year old, mm -hmm. who I met backstage, who's. He did? He's a great, great young oh, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you represent a lot to a lot of people in general. I mean, you're an example to people who aren't black. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, we can. Yes, we can. You're an example to boys, like your boys, my mm -hmm. boys, their boys, boys in general. That it, it, yes, we can. Yeah. Yes. And, and it, to me, it's very important, very important that African-American males get to see something positive, not just who shot them this week, not the unemployment rate, not what they can't do, not incarceration, you know? Yeah, so, um, Bad Boy Records, and I'm proud to say I was there on the ground floor. Yes, she was. Every step in the 90s. Hip hop culture changed, I mean, you were flashy with the diamonds. Right before you, remember, it was the, the leather medallions and yes. things, it was more of the Daisy Age. Mm -hmm. Shout out to De La Soul, but yes. it, was, it was a different time. Yes. Now here you are, you've got uh, your girls in fur bikinis, you're wearing diamonds and you're doing champagne. How did that all happen without you falling off the rail? Um, I definitely like jumped off the rail a couple of times <laughs> and you know, I, I was having fun and I was enjoying myself, but I was just tired of seeing us betrayed just like with do rags or like, you know, gang rags on in, in the videos. You know, I, I was a fan. A of, little dusty. Yeah. Hip hop was a little dusty before Puffy came along. Yeah, I, I was a fan of, of, of just like, we, we know how to, I'm from Harlem, so the Harlem Renaissance, we have style. We, are very, we know how to dress, and, um, and, 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 and to, me, to me, the images are so important. The images are programmed, so it's like I want Shiny to program um, positive <laughs> images. I want to program also us being able to wear costumes like shiny suits and have fun and just really accentuate the positive, but also be aspirational and say, like, this is what we're going to get and achieve for ourselves yeah. also. And then... Craig Mack came before Biggie. Mm -hmm. Craig Mack came along, flavor in your ear. Mm -hmm. But then Biggie came along, and Craig Mack, as I can recall, had one other radio play song. Mm -hmm. Get Down. Get Down, right. And then nothing. Mm -hmm. Craig Mack was also, to my recollection, the only bad boy artist who's still with us who was not on the tour that you guys did. Yes. Why? Um, there, com there comes... One of the things I say is, is that in this music industry, you only have like a 1% success rate, you know, of, of really making it, you know, at, at, at the end of it. And, right. and people make different choices, whether to stay in, in the industry or not. And it's either you go crazy, you, you stay successful and keep your head on and you learn and you grow, or you turn to God. And, um, you know, a lot of people turn to God. Craig Mack turned to God, turn to God and, and... So did so, Mace, and, but he came back. Hmm? So did Mace at yeah, one yeah, point. Yeah, 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 Mace, Mace. Not came back, that's not what I mean, I mean, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, almost every artist, including myself, had to turn to God. After, after 20 years of being in the industry, there's yeah. no place else for you to go, you know? Mm -hmm. But, 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 but one, of the, one of the things I want to say is that, you know, when you hear about people being saved, there's like two types of people that are, are, are saved. Like, some people get saved and, and they really, really follow that strict regimen because they know that they can't walk on both sides. You so know? that's Craig Mack. And so Craig Mack made the decision that, that, that he was in a, in a place, in the right place, and he didn't need to get pulled back into the industry, even if, 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 even if it was for one night, and I respect that. And, and so then there's, there's Moon, there's G Depp. You know, some of these guys only had maybe one or two songs mm -hmm. on their own, and then they collaboed. Do these people call you wanting back in? L L um, G Depp's in jail. Right. And Loon's, I and Loon's so, in jail. Okay, you know. never mind. Yeah. <laughs> never yeah. mind. Yeah. By the way, during commercial break, <laughs> so he whispers to me as we take our shot of um, Ciroc, and he says, Ask me anything. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going crazy, but I like that you say that. Yeah. Okay, so then the fateful night Biggie was killed mm -hmm. at the height of his career. Yes. Do you ever feel responsible in any way, mm -hmm. in any way? I mean, I mean, the thing that 
I think I always feel some sort of, you know, responsibility because I'm I'm in this thing with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's my artist, and um, he was supposed to go to London that night, and you know I let him talk me into, you know, not going to London and staying in L.A. And that you know that that's something that really bothered me. You know, throughout my life, is sometimes you have to really go with that decision in your gut. And in my gut, I was like, you need to get on the plane. But um, sometimes when you don't listen to your gut, you know, and, and this is God's world, you know, it's his plan. Yeah. But, 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 you know, honestly, like, you know, that's, that's one of the things I regret not making sure that he went to London. Hmm. So you brought CJ out, um, Biggie's son, mm -hmm. at the awards. Um, what does he call you? Does he call you Uncle Puff? Uncle, yeah, uh, yeah. Uncle, he calls me Unc. Unc. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So cute. Do you think you'll ever get married? I'm not, I'm not no, no, judging. No, 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 I, I mean, no. you could be a playboy playboy. No, 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 no. It's not about being a playboy. It's like, I, I think marriage is, 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 is so serious. And it's, it's like, <laughs> you, you're making a commitment to somebody <laughs> under God. And, and unless you're ready to do everything that's said, then you shouldn't get married. And, and I'm... I... You're not ready. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I'm going to be honest, like, you know, a, a lot of my spirit had got lost through a lot of the things that, that I went through, is, you know, even with the Biggie situation and then just in life lost. in general. And, and I just, I just, I really just started understanding how to really love myself and, and really focus on what's important, you know? Really? Yeah, I really did. Life is a journey. Yeah, life is a journey. It really is. And so I, I have to get myself together before I'm, I'm all the way together, before I'm really ready for that, because that, that, that to me is something very, very serious. And, and one day I, I, I hope that I'll find that. Aww. Not that I'll find that person, but I'll be able to do that. Find it within yourself. Yeah, I want to find it within myself. And then Not... deliver yourself to that yes. woman. Yes, yes. Yeah. You are exhausting me. Let me tell you something. <laughs> this week has been hella exhausting. <laughs> La La Come talks about Mello. Mm -hmm. um, Lamar was here yeah. yesterday mm -hmm. for a one-on-one. -on -one. Wow. And t we talked, we cried, we laughed. It wow. was hella exhausting. Yeah. And then meeting up with you. Yes. Now, before you go, I do want to acknowledge that in addition to everything great that you're doing, you've got a charter school. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Um, they're wrapping me up, but I want okay. you to tell me about it very quickly. Yeah, it's Capital Prep. It's in Harlem. It's a charter school. Um, I feel like our community is in a state of emergency. Education is the, the first step to turning around and making sure that our kids have a bright future. Um, um, and I don't feel like the government or, you know, even any, any of the powers to be are, are sending any rescue parties for us. We have to save ourselves. And so at the end of the day, that's the step that I took. Look, <laughs> this has been decades in the making. Yes, yes. Don't be a stranger. I won't be a stranger. Okay. Yeah. Give it up for Sean, Puffy, Diddy, Combs. <laughs> Can't you. stop, won't stop. A Bad Boy Story is available now on Apple Music. <laughs>